Hi, today we will create link server in MS SQL server. So as you know in the uh, current market there are different uh, softwares available for RDBMS like you have Oracle, you have Microsoft SQL server, you have MySQL and lots of many other databases and uh, in different organization they use different uh, databases some uses oracle some uses ms sql and some uses both and uh, uh, more than two or three databases as per the requirement so definitely there will be some cases in which they need to access data of different database in their current database like you have one database of ms sql so definitely uh, sometimes due to business requirement you need uh, some data from your oracle database also so in ms sql there is one object called as link server you can create link server and uh, with the help of this object you can access the data of oracle database and also different data uh, databases also so in this video we will discuss about how to access oracle database data in your ms sql server so i have created the sop for you and i will share this sop also for you so my source is this my windows 10 pc and uh, in this I have installed Microsoft SQL Server 2019 into Puzz Edition and we will connect our target Oracle server that is Oracle 12 cr 2 into Puzz Edition which is running on Linux. This is the IP port and service name because this is mandatory because as you know if you want to connect a remote Oracle database you must need this three values. So there are also some pre-requirements. Number one, you must have Oracle client installed. That means in this PC in which my MS SQL server is running, you must have Oracle client installed in this. Second, working network connection between both servers. That means the network between my Windows server and the Linux server must be in working condition. Okay especially the port uh, must be opened otherwise we will not be able to access the oracle database third we need remote database credentials in my case the database is db12c so i need a username and password to access this database and the last we need proper tns entry which we will do in our local oracle client uh, network file so below are these steps so I believe that uh, at this time you don't have the remote database user and password and all that so I will start from the beginning so that I will perform all these steps for you so that you will understand all the concept uh, in better way okay so let first we will create user in our remote db server so i will first open the putty session this is the linux server in which my oracle db is running yeah this is the database and there will be listener also okay my listener is running just confirming the status of this listener yeah my service is registered in the listener okay so it is ready for remote connection now we will create user
sorry okay a spelling mistake now uh, based on your requirement you need to grant privileges to this user like in this case i just want to demonstrate the process so i am granting select any table and select any dictionary because i don't have any user tables in this database i didn't install the hr schema that's why i have i am granting this to privileges in your case you can specifically grant select on some selected tables as per your requirement okay so our user creation part is completed now we need to create tns entry in our windows oracle client uh, tns names dot ora file so here i don't need this putty session anymore and now i will check remote connectivity between my windows machine and that linux machine first i will try with ping 192.168.56.74 okay ping is working and now i will check dns ping port was 1522 fine so connectivity is okay i will just check uh connecting from here so that i will be confirm that my connection will be uh, will work uh, i have created user ksh password is ksh at the rate ip port and service name it should connect okay connected okay so you can see i am able to connect my linux uh, oracle database from my windows cmd because i have installed oracle 12.2 binaries in my current system windows system so i am able to connect my remote database here so this shows my network ip port and service name this settings are fine okay i will exit here okay now we need to create this tns entry so first we need to find our uh, tns name start or file so it is inside your uh, network admin folder so this is the folder and this is the file where you need to put this complete string so copy open this file and paste here actually i have done this already so paste here and close now again check with this tns service name so tns service name is db12c so it should work yeah it is working now the final step is creating link server using ssms so we need to open ssms so this is ssms you need to connect your sql server okay connected here you need to click on server objects then expand it here you will find a linked server option just right click on it and here you will get the option new linked server click on it here you need three or four things to put number one linked server name it is simply uh, like db link name you use in oracle to identify that okay this db link will point to this server so you can choose any name then product name so here you need to uh, mention oracle because you are using accessing uh, oracle database data source here you need to mention the tns service name which we have just created in previous step and after that you need to put the remote database uh, credentials 
okay so here i will use uh, link server name uh, ora db from c here you need to choose the other data sources because we are not using sql server we will use oracle database in provider you need to select oracle provider for oledb then you type here oracle and data source name is db 12c that is a tns entry now go to security tab here you need to take the this be made using this security context here you need to provide the remote user so we had created this user and password now you don't need to do anything else just click on okay now expand here you will find that your linked server has been clicked but right now it will not work you need to enable one parameter also for this to work so we need to enable allow in pro uh, process in sql server after that it will work so just run this query in, in your sql server okay done now we will test our linked server so just right click on this and click on test connection so you will get the message the test connection to the linked server succeeded that means our configuration is totally fine now we will fetch some records or fetch some data from our remote oracle database so this is a simple query select star from open query here you need to mention the linked server name and in single quote you need to mention the your sql query to fetch records from oracle database so i am simply fetching my db name open mode and host name from these two dictionary views so just copy this paste here and run it okay what is the name of my mistake the name is db12c fine so as you see we are able to access our oracle database uh, data in our ms sql database server i will update this in my document also db See, fine. You can also check anything here. Like, uh, I will run one query to check count star from DBA objects. Yeah. So everything is working fine. So hope this video helped you to understand the concept or link server and hope you will be able to create link server in your ms sql database server and if you if you face any issue you can write down in the comment section and if you like this video i will request you to kindly like uh, share and subscribe to support so thank you very much